Oh, your father's sports coat is all creased. Uh, Vicky, would you go get the iron and uh, steam out these wrinkles? I don't need the iron. <laughs> no wrinkles. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Your dad's gonna appreciate this. Oh, at least you got the wrinkles out. He hates wrinkles. I have more steam for his face. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. You know, I should use the bigger suitcase. Uh, Vicky, how about using your robotic skills to close this darn thing? Use my robotic skills. <laughs> the darn thing's closed. Thanks a million. Now, how about going and checking that roast in the oven? Oh, and don't throw it out. <laughs> Chocolate syrup, jelly beans, licorice, cherry cola, ice cream. <laughs> You're not supposed to snack between meals. This isn't a snack. It's my vitamin drink. <laughs> you forgot something. What? The vitamins. <laughs> no, I didn't. There. <laughs> I feel healthier already. <laughs> Vicky, get the door, please. <laughs> oh, if it isn't Dream Hunk, the love of my life. <laughs> You're right, it isn't. <laughs> you know, Dimples, you really shouldn't play so hard to get. I'm not playing hard to get, Harriet. I'm playing impossible to get. <laughs> that stupid sugar bear. Need something sweet. You wouldn't act that way if you knew how rich I was gonna be. Yeah, sure, Harriet. I mean it, but I'm not allowed to talk about it, so don't ask. Okay, I won't ask. Ask! <laughs> okay, okay, how are you gonna get rich? Well, if you insist. <laughs> My father is going to be president of a giant company, and we're going to make millions. So, I'm happy for you, Harriet. I'm happier for you. You can marry me for my money. <laughs> Harriet, I wouldn't marry you for the Bank of America's money. <laughs> that stupid sugar bear. <laughs> Can't you just see us sitting on our big veranda, sipping mint juleps? Watching the field hands and eating sushi. <laughs> sushi? Of course. That's what everybody eats in Japan. And my dad's new job is in Tokyo. You're moving to Tokyo? <laughs> oh, don't worry. When I'm settled, I'll send for you. You can be my mail order groom. <laughs> You'll need a big envelope. <laughs> Harriet, if this is true, it's the happiest day of my life. Because I'm going to be rich? No, because you're moving to Tokyo. <laughs> well, I'll believe it when you're gone. Meanwhile, sayonara, baby. What am I going to do with him, Vicky? I can't even buy his love. You can always do what Amanda did. Who's Amanda? Amanda Worthington on that morning soap opera, The Young and the Tasteless. <laughs> when Gerald left her, Amanda told everybody she was eloping with Hector the gardener. But when Gerald found out about it, he came back to her. And did they live happily ever after? No, she shot him. <laughs> Hector buried him in the garden. Well, at least you can go out every day and water him. <laughs> See ya. Vicky, Dad's about ready to leave for the airport. Come on. Oh, honey, I hope you enjoy your trip to Texas. Well, thanks a lot, honey. But it looks like I'm gonna have to be moseying along now. Oh, Jamie, 
I'm going to leave you in charge of the old corral here. We'll look after the women folk and the cattle. I won't let him stampede, Pa. And that goes for the cattle, too. Good. Shouldn't take me more than a few days to wrap up business, honey. Okay, honey. He means the big honey. <clears throat> hey, what's this? You, you left something out. Uh, <laughs> what's this for? A short trip? No, no. It's, uh, it, it, it's a new coat for Jamie. Huh. It's just like mine. It is yours. What? 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 Oh, that must be the taxi. Uh, Vicky, would you get the door, please? And, and Ted, you be careful, all right? Tell that to the pilot. <laughs> well, hi, Vicky. Hi, taxi. Uh, Jamie, why don't you and Vicky take the luggage out? Let me know when the taxi's here, okay? Sure, partner. Let's go, varmint. Ted, I have the greatest news. It is so big, it is so fat. You'll never guess in a million years what it is. You're going to be president of a giant company and have more money than the Bank of America? <laughs> Good guess. But you'll never guess where I'm going to do it. Your new job is in Tokyo, and you're going to eat sushi sitting on your big veranda? <laughs> I get it. My, my little Harriet was here. Your little Harriet with the big mouth. <laughs> well, are you really moving to Japan, Brandon? That's right. But I wanted to tell you myself so I could see the blood drain from Teddy's face. Oh, you just came over to make Ted jealous. <laughs> of course. What's the fun of getting a great new job if you can't stick it to your friends? <laughs> well, I got news for you, Brandon. We couldn't be happier. You really happy for me? No, for us. Well, <laughs> funny, funny. Try not to be too envious, Teddy. Envy can give you an ulcer, I hope. Well, I hate to gloat and run, but a representative from my new Japanese company is flying over to meet with me. Ah. It is such a burden being so important. <laughs> You're lucky, Teddy. You'll never know the feeling. <laughs> Mom said for you to help me set the table for dinner. She meant Jamie the kid. Dad said I'm now the man of the house. <laughs> and when Dad's the man of the house, this is what he does. <laughs> and this is what Mom does. <laughs> Grab your ear. What? Grab your ear. <laughs> hey, what's going on with you two? I'm teaching Jamie how to be the man of the house. <laughs> oh, Jody, this is a disaster. It's an emergency. You've got to help me. Well, Brandon, what's the matter? Oh, it's terrible. Mr. Saito, the Japanese executive, is waiting in his hotel now for me to pick him up. Oh, and your car broke down? Oh, no, I have car trouble, too. <laughs> uh, Brandon, what happened that was so terrible? Well, I'm supposed to pick up Mr. Saito at his hotel, bring him to my house to meet the family, have the final interview. Bonnie and I had a fight, and she just moved out to a hotel, taking Harriet with her. Oh, I'm sorry. That is terrible. I'll say she's probably ready to sweep. <laughs> Brandon, if it would help any, I'd be happy to go and have a talk with Bonnie for you. There's no time. Mr. Saito's waiting for me now. Well, how can I help? I need to borrow something. Sure, what? Your house. My house? Just for an hour. See, the Japanese are very family-oriented. I can't let Mr. Saito find out that Bunny and I are fighting. Suppose she came home in the middle of the interview and tied my pants like that I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm sure she wouldn't do that. She does it all the time. <laughs> With me in the... <laughs> well, Brandon, I don't... Please, know. please, 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 oh, please, oh, please, I'm desperate. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, Brandon, I, I hate it when you beg. I do, too. <laughs> but it's so effective. <laughs> thank you, Joni, thank you. Oh, while I'm down here, there are two other teensy-weensy little things I need. Uh, what are those? A wife and a daughter. <laughs> what? You have a wife and a daughter? I mean ones that like me! <laughs> so, you and Vicky could pretend to be Bonnie and Harry, huh? huh? Brandon, it's out of the question! Please! Please! The Japanese judge their executives as much on their families as they do on their ability, and I was counting on my family to clinch the deal since I have no ability! <laughs> 
Bobby, couldn't you just tell them that Bonnie and Harriet had to leave suddenly? I can't risk it. I'd lose face. I promised him a wife and a kid. I have to deliver a wife and a kid. <laughs> but what happens when you get the job and you go to Japan and you've got a different wife and kid? He'll never know the difference to the Japanese. We all look alike. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring you something that'll help disguise you. Oh, I don't know, Brandy. Please, Jody, it's not just for me. It's for you and Ted, too. Mm. How? Well, for one thing, I will see to it that when I leave, Teddy takes over my old job as management. Brandon, I don't think so. I know what's stopping you. You think if I get this job, you'll lose me as a neighbor? I'll do it. Addiction. He's a tall man with gravy stains on his shirt. That's him, all right. Is he here? Nope. Well, if you see him, my mom sent me from the hotel with a message. Hotel? Yeah. My mom and dad had a fight, so we moved into a hotel. Oh, uh, that's too bad. No, it's all right. We took a suite. <laughs> Besides, they always make up. I think that's what keeps them together, their mutual interest and hostility. <laughs> What's their message, Harriet? My mom said to tell him. Hey, Little Lips, if you touch our bank book, you're going to be wearing your ears around your ankles, and I'm not kidding, Buffalo Breath. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they had a pretty good fight. <laughs> One of their best. You should have heard my dad. Maybe you better not go to Japan, Tubbo. It's totally a small island. You'll sink it. <laughs> when you and I are married, Jamie, we'll never fight as long as you keep repeating those two magic words. What's that? Yes, dear. <laughs> oh, good kids, I need your help. Sure, Mom. Okay, Brandon Brindle is bringing this Japanese gentleman over that's interviewing him for the new job. And we've got to act like we're Brandon's family and that we love him. Um, that's not just acting. That's Academy Award time. <laughs> Academy Award time. In accepting this Oscar, I'd like to thank all the little people I stepped on to get here. <laughs> you like me. You really like me. <laughs> Why are we doing this, Mom? nice things for each other. We're talking about the Brindles. <laughs> and if we can get that clown that job, we'll get rid of them forever. Works for me. <laughs> Good. Now, I'm going to be his wife, Bonnie, and uh, Vicky, you're going to be Harriet. Think he can act like Harriet? If it isn't Dream Hunk, the love of my life. Ew! Ew, you crazy erector set! <laughs> yes, dear! Ow. And who am I? You're Jamie Lawson, the boy next door. Great! I was born to play that part. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Saito. Uh, welcome to my humble home. Yes, very humble. <laughs> Won't you sit down? Uh, can I get you something to drink? No, thank you. Uh, Bonnie? Oh, Bonnie, darling? Uh, the loved one is home with our distinguished visitor from the mysterious East. Uh, honey, can I speak to you for a minute? Excuse me. Shouldn't be, Buttercup. I am not. Yes, you are. Come on. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Lotus Blossom, Mr. Saito, I'd like you to meet my adoring, obedient wife, Bonnie. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm honored to welcome my husband's guest into my home. <laughs> Please, in Japan we have a three-bow limit. Well, she's just like a Japanese wife. Uh, Mr. Saito has traveled a long way, Kissykins. Perhaps he'd like something to eat? Well, Hey, I... come on, no trouble, little guy. Sit down, what'll it be? Uh, <laughs> egg rolls, chop suey? Take one from column A, one from column B. Honorable husband. 
And that is Chinese food. Mr. Saito is Japanese. Right, right. Well, you know, all that Oriental food looks alike. <laughs> Mr. Saito, I had Honorable Daughter Harriet fix something special for you to make you feel at home. Harriet! Oh, Harriet! <laughs> Uh, Mr. Brindle, about the matter of your employment. <laughs> Where would you like me to put this, Mama Son? <laughs> right on the table. <laughs> Mr. Saito, I'd like you to meet our lovely daughter, Harriet. Hello. <laughs> Please, stop. My back can't take it. Sorry, please sit down. Uh, why don't you sit at my feet, dear, the way you always do? Well, I really sit, don't... Sit, sit, sit. See? Just like a Japanese wife. Ooh, if I asked my wife to do that, she'd kill me. <laughs> well, what have we here? Hmm. What is it? Raw octopus. <laughs> you have a lovely family, Mr. Brindle. <laughs> Did you hear that, my little rice cake? The jewels in the bag. Ah, <laughs> uh, Harriet, someone's at the door. I'll get it, Buffalo Breath. <laughs> <laughs> An American term of endearment. <laughs> Why are you dressed that way? To help the clown get the job. <laughs> oh, look, it's the cute little girl from next door. <laughs> oh, there you are. I just came by to tell you that Mom's home. They delivered the Minky Center, and she forgives you and is waiting for you all perfumed, powdered, and puckered. <laughs> Her mother's puckered for you? <laughs> Should do nice things for each other. Get that, will you, Harriet? Okay. <laughs> no, I meant her, right, Harriet? Right. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Harriet. I'm. <laughs> oh, look, Vicky. Here's your brother, Jamie Lawson, from next door. Oh, Jamie, I'm so glad you're here. It seems that Vicky is a little confused here. So why don't you and Harriet take Vicky into the kitchen and get things straightened up, okay? Sure, Mom. I mean, Mrs. Brindle. <laughs> Come on, sis. Let's go have a little talk. I'm not moving till someone tells me what's going on here. If you don't get into the kitchen, you'll be wearing your ears around your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting household. Well, I'll get the door, husband, son. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Who's that? Uh, that's Ted Lawson, our neighbor. <laughs> You let him kiss your wife like that? It's the least I could do. Last week, he jump-started my car. Looks like he's jump-starting your wife. My flight was canceled, and I forgot my key, and why are you dressed like Madam Butterfly? Well, my husband, Brandon, here and I are, are entertaining Mr. Saito, who's interviewing him for a new job so that he can go to Japan. Understand? Completely, Mrs. Brendel. <laughs> Mr. Saito, you couldn't find a better man for the job than Brandon. I agree. I think he would make an excellent president of our new company. <laughs> The job. However, our honorable chairman thinks his honorable son will make a better president. What? That's what I came over to tell you, Mr. Brindle. Now, why would he do that? I guess that's why they call Japan the land of the rising sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I must be going. It's been nice meeting you all, and thank you for a most inscrutable evening. Ciao. Sorry things didn't work out for you, Brandon. You don't know how sorry we are, Brandon. Daddy, Daddy, you're home! 
Knock it off, Freckles. It's all over. I didn't get the job. We're not going to Japan. It's a disaster. Well, at least your lovely wife is back home. That's two disasters in one day. <laughs>